Hey friends, so this is going to be the intro to my California weekend vlog. I wanted to show you kind of how I prepare to travel, kind of what I do, just a few things here and there, maybe some tips that might be helpful. Um, and today is actually Wednesday and I'm leaving on Friday, but you know, we're a couple days out, we gotta start packing, start planning things. So I will show you kind of everything that I do, but I just wanted to start the clip off or start the video off with this clip so I don't forget to do the intro. But yeah, I will catch you in the next clip so you can see how I prepare for traveling. Okay, so it's still Wednesday, but I wanted to talk about everything that I was saying just a second ago in the intro clip. Um, so first thing is I'm going to do my nails. I usually do my own nails just because that's something that I can save money on. I'm like pretty good at doing my own nails. Um, but I wanted to talk about the color that I use. So I am going to be using this Essie. It's like a baby pink. It's called Sugar Daddy. Um, so I use this on my fingernails and then over top, I put this Sally Hansen dries instantly um, top coat. And then for my toenails, I do like a brighter pink. So I'll do that. And then I've also shown this on my channel before, but when I self tan, I just use the Ulta Beauty self tanner. Um, this one is just called Express Tan Tinted Mousse, one hour express tan infused with coconut water, which helps with keeping your skin hydrated. So before you ever self tan, you're going to want to exfoliate and shave. So your skin is going to be dry. Don't put lotion or anything on and then put on the self tanner. I use a mitt. Um, I'm very like flexible and mobile with like my shoulders. Like I can actually get my whole back and be just fine um, on my own. But for this one, you can leave it on for one, two or three hours and then you, sh you rinse that off and then it further develops overnight. And actually the last time I used this was for like my birthday and graduation and stuff. And I just didn't rinse it off and I slept in all of it overnight. Um, and I feel like it was quite a bit darker. So that's what I'm going to do again. I'll, and I'll do this tomorrow. So thurs tomorrow's Thursday and I leave Friday. I'll do it tomorrow night. I just wanted to talk about this before um, I forgot because tomorrow I have to train and I'm going to kind of be running around getting things ready. So I wanted to go over this first, but yeah, um, like I said, this is infused with coconut water and you can smell it. And like, I've never had streaks or issues with this. Um, my skin stays super hydrated. And then pro tip after you wash off your self tan or spray tan, that is when you moisturize because you want your skin to hold on to all of that color and all of the coconut water hydration and all the goodness. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. But otherwise, those are like my two big things like doing my nails and getting or, you know, doing a self tan. So that is what I got for you for now. Um, I actually just went to sushi. I love sushi so much and came back home. So I'm just gonna like, you know, try on some outfits. Like I was saying, maybe I already said that earlier. I don't know. I like to try on my outfits before I go places because otherwise I just overpack and it's a mess. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will catch you in the next clip, which will probably be tomorrow. Hey, so it's Thursday now. I just got home from the gym. I had my last quad day of this current training phase, which my training phases are six weeks long. And so this was the last week. And holy crap, like I used to really, really hate training quads. Just... I, I just hate it. I hate the feeling of it. Um, but I was just actually talking to my Instagram story about this. My mindset has changed so much because the thing is, the bottom line is, you have to give your muscle a reason to grow. Like it's not gonna grow unless you give it a reason to. And that means getting outside your comfort zone, pushing hard, like doing the hard work that sucks really bad. And my mindset has just changed so much from like, Week one, I was like, oh my God, I hate this. Like, fuck this. This is stupid. I hate this. And I definitely left a few reps in the tank. And now here we are six weeks later. Like, I almost pushed myself too hard. Like, I don't have failure sets programmed in to my phases very often. Most of my stuff is RPE nine, which means you have about one rep left in the tank. And I'm now to the point where I push myself so hard that I go to failure. And I'm like, dang it. Like, I just, I went too hard. Like, story of my life. Um... But yeah, I was looking at my training log from when I started this phase. And by the way, you should be keeping a training log of the weights that you are using um, to ensure that 
progressive overload is happening. And if you're not familiar with that, let me know. I can like make a whole video talking about progressive overload, but that basically just means you're lifting more over time, therefore giving your reason, giving your muscle a reason to grow. But my least favorite exercise is narrow stance leg press. Like I just freaking hate it. It just burns so bad. And I started off this phase leg pressing 120 pounds. And today, six weeks later, I was leg pressing 170 pounds. Like that's wild. And I've only been reverse dieting for like four weeks. So strength gains, quad gains, like I just feel so good. And I'm glad that I've been able to shift my mindset. It all starts up here. And like I said, if you want to grow, you have to get outside your comfort zone. So I just wanted to touch on that. And then also I forgot, um, I know yesterday I was telling you about what I use to self tan and like do my nails. I also whiten my own teeth and I've actually been doing this for over a year now. Um, probably like a year and a half and I don't do it all the time. Um, I just, I'll do it for like a couple weeks at a time. I'll do it every single night and then I'll lay off because it can, I feel like it can do nerve damage. Um, it's not really the best to like have this always sitting on like your gums and stuff, but you can order this teeth whitening gel from Amazon. It's super cheap. You get like three syringes of it. Um, it's 44% peroxide. And it comes with trays that you're supposed to be able to mold to your teeth. And the way that you're supposed to be able to do that is like to dip the trays in boiling water and then mold it. And like, that's just not safe. Um, I tried and it pissed me off. So I just threw those away. So what I do is I take a Q-tip and I get this and I put it on my teeth and then I use saran wrap. Like it's super janky, but I'll just like cut a little piece of saran wrap and use it kind of like a white strip. So I'll put this on and then the saran wrap and I just chill with it on for like, I don't know, about an hour every single night. And so I just wanted to touch on that before I forgot. But yeah, I do that like at a couple, for like a couple weeks at a time. And I actually use it as a diet hack when I'm dieting. So I'll like have my last meal and then I'll whiten my teeth and be like, well, since I have these things on my teeth, I can't eat anything else. And then um, I'll like brush my teeth afterwards and go to bed. And you know, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's weird, but it works for me. So anyways, um, it's super cold here and I cannot wait 24 hours. I will be about, I'll be on a plane still about to land in LA and I'm freaking stoked. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like eat and shower and stuff right now, but I'll show you like the supplements and the food that I'm bringing later. Um, I just want to shower now so I can like shave exfoliate and like get my uh, self tan on. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'll catch you in the next clip. <laughs> okay. So current state, we got stuff laying everywhere, but I have outfits planned out. That's all going to go in there. And then I'm going to run you through food slash supplement stuff that I am bringing, like I told you I would. So we'll just jump right into it. Um, the first thing I have here is some level one protein. It's actually this pumpkin spice latte. I have maybe like this much left in there. You never know when you might need protein powder. It's just a good way to hit your protein because that's typically like the hardest macro to hit if you're like eating out or whatever. So brought a few scoops of that. And then I also have my Opti Greens here and I wanted to show you. So I actually got a new one in the mail today, which was perfect because I refuse to travel without these. These are so good for digestion. And um, if I have these, then I know that I don't need, like I'll be okay without my apple cider vinegar because I don't want to like pack this giant thing. You know what I mean? But as long as I have the Opti Greens, I am good. Um, so I took uh, four or five days worth out of here. And then it worked out to where I have enough for tomorrow morning. So I'll just finish this tomorrow and this new guy will be ready for me when I come home. So that is the next thing. And then right here, I just have four baggies with BCAAs, creatine and glutamine in there. Um, I prefer to portion these out like per day as opposed to these ones where it's just like in bulk because this is what I take intro workout or if it's a rest day, I still drink them. So I just stack these up here so you would know what was in there. And then as far as snacky type stuff, so I'm going to bring some rice cakes. See, they're just lightly salted. Um, I picked up these enlightened sriracha like bean crisps. I've had these before and they are amazing. So I actually got these at Whole Foods, but I'm sure you could find them at like GNC or something, something like that. And then I don't know if you guys have ever had these um, seaweed snacks. They're literally like no calories, but they're just like fun. If you're somebody who's like, I want a snack, but like, you don't want to be eating a ton of calories. So, um, I got a pack of six of these, six of these at Whole Foods. I've already eaten a couple, so I'll probably just bring all of those. Um, and then here is another couple options for 
protein on the go. Um, these little tuna packets are great. They actually taste really good. I know it might be weird and like super bodybuilder to like eat tuna randomly, but hey, we got goals, okay? And then lastly, I'm going to bring a few protein bars. Um, I know I will have tons of protein snacks at my disposal at the expo, but these are my favorite. So my top fave, and I don't have the third flavor because I just freaking ate it the other day, so I don't, I haven't restocked on it yet, but these are the protein bars from First Form. They are level one bars. Um, so that I have Peanut Butter Lover and Chocolate Crunch, both amazing. The third flavor that I love that they have is Salted Caramel. All three are freaking amazing. Like, taste better than candy bars. I'm not even kidding you. And then for a lower fat option, so these ones have 13 fat. This has seven. Um, this used to be my favorite before First Form came out with the level one bars, but this is the Chocolate Cake Combat Crunch Bar. I buy like boxes of these on the regular, so yeah, I figure having those on hand will be good, but I just wanted to take you through everything. I think that's everything I'm going to bring. Um, Lexi's going to have stuff like oats and like nut butter or whatever I may need, like egg whites and stuff. So yeah, there's that. I'm glad that's all taken care of. I'm self-tanning, can you tell? Um, and our freaking Airbnb just canceled on us. So we just had to book another one quick, but it's okay. We're going to make shiz happen. And yeah. One other thing I forgot to show you is I filled up my little like pill pack up until Tuesday. Um, that way I'm still, you know, getting in my vitamins and whatnot, staying on track, killing the game. Okay, I just didn't want to miss that. <laughs> I guess I could have been talking to you like this the whole time, but uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you the update and show you how easy it is to like literally stay on track. So what I'll do with those Ziploc baggies is I'll roll, I'll like put them all together in a bundle and I'll just put them in a shaker cup. And then I have my shaker cup, I have my baggies, all that stuff good to go. Um, that saves you a lot of space when you are traveling. So yep, I will probably catch up with you in the morning, but I'm so excited. It's gonna be so hard to sleep tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next clip. <laughs> good morning, today is the day. I'm ready to be out of the cold, okay? My dreams come true today. Um, I have obviously gotten ready already. Um, I'm having a little snack here. This is Danon Light and Fit Greek Yogurt. Just vanilla flavor is so good. Like I've been sleeping on it, like literally just eating it by itself. It's so good. It tastes like dessert. And I am not someone who ever eats yogurt by itself. Like when I was little, I wouldn't even touch it. So that's saying something. Um, but anyways, I have everything back there ready to pack up. I was just using my food scale real quick. So that's the only thing I have left to put in there. Um, I want to show you what I'm wearing because I think the shirt is hilarious. It says, thank you next, but I paired it with these buff bunny joggers and I know the lighting's like kind of shitty right here. Um, but how cute, right? Like, don't judge me if I wear this exact outfit to the expo tomorrow, because I like, I'm already obsessed and got my spray tan and you probably can't really tell, but I got myself tan done. I have my hair up. Oh my God. My camera will not focus on anything. Um, I have my hair up because like, ugh, it just gets in my way. I'll take it down when I leave the house. But yeah, I'm freaking stoked. I have everything. Like I, I got my carry on right there. Um, packed up a few more snacks and yeah, I'm like ready to roll. I'm going to go pick up Sarah here in like half an hour. I'm just, I like to be ahead of schedule, stay on top of things. And I just wanted to give you the update. So next clip you see, we'll be picking up Sarah. <laughs> I have a bay! Woo! We have been wanting to go, well, travel anywhere, but to LA together for so long, like literally years in the making. So just picked Bay up. We're going to the airport and I will catch you there. Did I give up? Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up. I just gave up. Did I sleep away the day because I was tired? Wow! You're fine. Hi. You're like trying to like find your way. Yes! Right. I've been like, yes. Oh. We literally just stick to it. Oh, I love you so much. Okay. Made it to San Diego. There's Lexi. Where's Hi. Sarah? Come here. Lexi <laughs> is the real MVP <laughs> and got us freaking purple monsters because the time change and me being too excited to sleep last night is gonna present some issues later. But we're hungry, so we're about to go have poke right now. Just wanted to update the vlog. I'm freaking stoked. I'm already high vibe. It's warm here. I feel good, okay? All right, I'll catch you in the next clip. Oh, did I get tired? Cause I slept too much. Slept too much. We go up and down, we go up and down. I'm on this roller coaster ride, roller coaster ride. 
Okay, so we have made it to the Airbnb after being canceled on by not one, but two Airbnbs. But this place is pretty cute. I mean, it's in like downtown LA, so it's all Gucci. Um, let's do a little tour. So this is coming in from the front, obviously. And then this is what you see. You got a nice little table. We've got a nice kitchen here, which is good because we are tracking our food for the most part. We got Bay Sarah over there in the dining area. We got a fun table. Bathroom here. Here is a little living space. Cute lamps, TV, lots of windows. And then over here we have a bed, sleeping area, nice desk. And let's look at this. Oh, there's a nice little patio area. Hello, people. Hello, world. Wow, how nice. There's Bay again. How nice. <laughs> At Nick Tong Strong, we're growing. We growing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyways, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. We'll probably just like <laughs> refresh cause being on a plane makes you gross, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, obviously I'm super excited, super high vibe. The weather's so nice. I'm so glad I'm not cold anymore. Um, so yeah, we will, you know, get ready, chill for a little bit, drink some water, um, and I will show you what we do next. <laughs> Saturday. It is expo day. I just came outside to update you all. Got my coffee here. It's a good morning. I've already had my greens. Um, and I actually, so I brought my scale with me, my body weight scale, just because I'm gonna be gone until Tuesday and my check-in days are Thursdays. So I didn't want to not weigh myself for five days because I kind of like gyps my coach out of seeing like my data points. So anyway, that's just a personal choice. Obviously, if you're traveling, you don't have to weigh yourself every day. Um, but I think today might be the first day of my life that I've ever woke up lighter um, the day after flying. So that was cool. Um, I think it's because I really focused on water yesterday. I still tracked yesterday. We went and got sushi last night like you saw. Um, I'm going to be tracking in again today, but I think we're going to take a free meal tonight. Um, so that's exciting. And yeah, Lexi and Sarah are just getting ready right now, finishing up. And I know we're about to go get breakfast, so I'll show you where we end up going. Um, but I'm super excited. We were just talking about how it's crazy how much your life can change in a year. Like if you go back and watch my expo video from last year, it's just like, wow, I'm in such a different place, such a better place. Like I'm here for, I'm here for the growth. So um, don't judge me. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday, but I really like it. So I got that and I got just some high-waisted Lulu aligns. Um, but yeah, it's nice outside. Obviously it's like 60 degrees. This is so much better. It's like snowing at home and I'm like, <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this day rolling and we're going to focus again today on drinking a lot of water. Um, just because, you know, travel's hard on your body and I want to keep things as consistent as possible. It's a lot easier when you're around people who get it, like fit people, you know, fitness people. Um, and then, you know, Lexi and I have the same coach and he knows that we're both, you know, we got big goals and we're like on it. So it's, it's a lot easier, um, to not just say like, fuck it and eat whatever you want. You know what I mean? So that's the update for now. I'll show you where we end up going for breakfast and let's get this day rolling. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking Didn't see it coming but I don't mind I don't mind I don't even know how to do this I don't need a map like to show me how Show me how We go up and down We go up and down on on this Roller coaster ride Roller coaster ride We fall back sometimes We fall back sometimes on on this Roller coaster ride Roller coaster ride 
Anyway, so I'm gonna be honest, we're like walking all over. There's just a lot going on, so I'm not gonna vlog this whole thing. Plus, I feel like people don't watch expo vlogs very much, anyways, because like it's all the same shit, and like it's only exciting if you're here meeting people, you know what I mean? So, if you go to my Instagram, I have a highlight for the whole weekend where I'm like tagging everybody I meet, and just wanted to check in and say we made it in, breakfast was good, it's a great time, we feel good, and I'm gonna put my camera away just so I can like take everything in in the moment and enjoy the expo for what it is. So, yeah. Okay, so we ended up staying at the expo a lot longer than we thought we would, but the ghost line took forever and I really wanted to meet Christian Guzman, so we got that taken care of. We picked up some goods. I'll show you guys what I got eventually, um, but stayed on top of my water game today. Just got home, so I'm eating a little bit before we go out to a late dinner tonight. We're going to use a free meal, probably get a burger and enjoy ourselves. Um, so yeah, I just want to give you a little update, let you know how the rest of the day went. We're all like... <laughs> Pretty tired, but we're doing okay. We're gonna rally, and I honestly remember being way more tired last year, but that's because I was an idiot and like didn't eat all day. So, yeah, we're in a good spot. I'm going to finish this dinner. We're gonna find a burger place to go to, and I will catch you in a little bit. Okay, so we've decided on a burger place. We all got ready like rather quickly, so we're gonna have a little glass of wine before we go. We got the, the hot jams. I don't even know what's playing, but anyways. We're vibing, okay? I'm trying this middle part. I don't really know. I'm probably just gonna end up flipping. Um, so I'll show you our wine. Cheers! Um, so I meant to show you the wine. And I laid my camera down, but I got distracted making the boomerang for my Instagram video, and now the wine is almost gone. But you've been laying on the counter recording the whole time, so maybe I'll just leave in some fun uh, clips. But anyways, look how bomb Sarah looks. Like, that's my girl. That is my girl. <laughs> and then Lexi's freaking killing it over there. She looks good, yo. Hashtag so, living with my bitch. You want to see my outfit? Yes. Here. Yeah. Got high-waisted Fashion Nova. These, no idea. Sorry. <laughs> Might be Target, actually, I think. Um, Forever 21 jacket. And then the bralette is from... <sighs> I'm so bad at remembering where I got it. I think Victoria's Secret. Secret. Yeah, because yeah. you were with me when I got it. Yep. Um, so, yeah. That's what we're working with. That's what's up. We're gonna go get burgers now, so I'll show you when we get there. Oh. <laughs> It is now Sunday. We slept in this morning, had a great free meal last night. I woke up lighter from my free meal, so that was awesome. I think it's definitely because I was walking around the expo all day yesterday, but I feel good. Definitely ready for some breakfast. We just postmated Starbucks. It's a great life. I'm gonna show you the view. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's still kind of cool to me anyways. Um, so we're just in downtown. LA, um, close to a lot of restaurants and stuff, but we are definitely about to go get breakfast now. Um, and obviously I'll show you what we get, but I just wanted to give you a quick update because we came home last night and passed out. I was like so full, but that burger was amazing. That place was amazing. And that dessert was amazing. Great night. Good vibes. My homegirls. So yes, still feeling great. Obviously, you know, my mind, my body, my soul loves California and I'm ready to do some exploring today. And now we're gonna go down to Venice. That's like literally one of my favorite freaking places. So I will take you along for the ride. Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up, just gave up. Did I sleep away the day cause I was tired? Or did I get tired cause I slept too much? Slept too much. We go up and down, we go up and down. I'm on this roller coaster ride, roller coaster ride. Well, we have officially made it to San Diego, to Bay Lexi's kitchen. If you watch Lexi's videos, then you probably recognize the kitchen. It's my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I feel so special to be here. So we just made some health because we got goals, okay? And I have never been so happy 
to eat a vegetable. So um, basically today kind of turned into a shit show. We had like lots of plans to explore and do fun things. And then long story short, we got in a car accident and everybody's okay, thank goodness. Um, but it just really kind of killed the whole day. Like it took a long time to deal with all of that. So we're happy to be home and happy to be safe and eating our normal foods and just hanging out, chilling. Lexi and I both took care of some client work and that was awesome. So yeah, I figured it was like time to update the vlog because today I really didn't film like anything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to bed and try again tomorrow, but I'm actually trying cream of rice for the first time tonight. So I'll show you that just for shigs, I guess, like you know what I think. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Hello, it is Sunday. No, it is Monday. Uh, Lexi and I have just been working all morning. We did some client stuff. Um, it's now 2.21 here. So we are actually about to head into San Diego because Lexi lives um, a little bit north. And so we have a little drive, but we are going to, um, we're going to see what we can get into. By which I mean we're going to look at apartments. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to drop that bomb now. I have been planning to move to San Diego since, like, since I came here in October. And things have just kind of fallen into place. So we're going to go see what we can find, see our options. We have some things in mind, but I'm super excited. We're both super excited, obviously. The sun is out. It's literally 70 degrees. My heart is happy. I need to be here freaking ASAP. Don't really have a timeline yet. Um, probably within the next few months. And obviously I can like keep you updated with that as time goes on. But yeah, this is the first time that I'm like actually saying it so aside from people who are like close to me um nobody really knows but yeah my body is ready so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna see what we can find and we're super excited how stoked are you to do this man i'm have been waiting for this day for like since can i went to kansas city so like it's been in the works for a while so we're stoked and let's fucking go and now it's on the internet so it's real <laughs> yeah <laughs> We fall back sometimes, we fall back sometimes on all this roller coaster ride. In this roller coaster ride. In this roller coaster ride. So as you guys can see there, uh, cat phrases. <laughs> Lit. Yo, so I was really bad at vlogging in San Diego, but it's just like, we were all over the place. You know, we looked at apartments, I think was the last time I updated you, then that was yesterday. Um, and then we trained last night, felt human again. Also, if you can like see my breath right now, I'm in my car in Kansas City. Um, and so we felt human again and we trained last night. That was awesome. And then this morning we got up, um, you know, had breakfast, went to the gym, and that's the workout that you just saw. Loved it, it's, it was so nice outside, it was like 70 degrees. <laughs> I was looking at my story, and it's like four hours ago, it was like 70 degrees and sunny, and I get home to Kansas City, and it's literally 10 degrees, and apparently the wind chill tonight is supposed to be negative 15, and the high tomorrow is supposed to be eight. Eight! Fucking eight! Like, should I just take a rest day tomorrow so I don't have to fucking go outside? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I figured I would do an outro here 
that way this video is all wrapped up and my car's warming up. I can't just like drive it all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, it's a solid 10 degrees here. So all I had was Sherpa, but Sherpa came through. I'm actually like, I feel okay. Uh, I think cause I like mentally prepared myself for that entire flight, but I read a hundred pages of a book. Um, I wrote my Instagram post for tomorrow. So the flight, um, so the flight from Kansas city to California is awesome because you like gain time, right? Or like you don't necessarily like lose time, but the way back, um, obviously the time change affects things, but with the wind, like when you're flying eastward, um, I feel like our plane should have got a speeding ticket because we were freaking literally flying here. Um, cause it was supposed to take like three hours and it took like two and a half or maybe a little bit over two and a half. So that was dope. I'm excited to go home now. Um, I've been on top of my water and my macros and stuff. I definitely have a lot to eat tonight, but I'll be up for a while because now I'm on West Coast time. So it's all good. I'm feeling good. It was a good trip, obviously. And obviously, um, I will keep you updated with further developments on everything. But with all that being said, I don't know if this is going to be one or two videos, but either way, if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you can give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.